Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Salvation Elite. And guys, today we got a really different and really exciting episode. So these are some of the best search and destroy tips that I've ever seen and or witnessed in Call of Duty or in any video I've ever seen. So this video is from Rambo, okay? If you guys don't know who Rambo is, you guys have been missing out. He's one of the OG legends in the COD scene. He's one of the best Modern Warfare 3 players, a really good Black Ops 2 player. So he's one of the OGs of the Call of Duty scene. And in this video, he's talking about search and destroy tips. He's going through like some film in theater mode in Black Ops 2 back in the day. This full video is on his channel, actually. I condensed it down to about 20 minutes. The original video is like 30 plus minutes or so. Again, I don't want to be stealing Rambo's views or anything, but I wish the video was titled a little bit differently, like search and destroy basics or the fundamentals of search and destroy or something like that, because the, the title that he has doesn't do it justice. And so I thought with this video, we could help revive it a little bit and help give it the exposure it deserves because it really, really is a really great video. He talks about a lot of really insightful things in this video, like how to trade, how to properly set up on bombs, when to push, when to play aggressively, when to play slower and more tactfully, how to take advantage of getting first blood, and how to put your team into 4v2 situations, and how to effectively play a man up or a man down, and how to plant bombs, how to attack bombs, how to defend bombs, and I think overall it's just a really, really insightful video. So I highly recommend you guys stick around and watch the whole thing because it really, really is that good. But it really is crazy how many of the fundamentals of Search and Destroy don't change throughout all of these years of Call of Duty. And, and you'll just see how true that is while watching the video. And also real quick before we get into it as well, the Best of Three Cod Esports podcast the next episode will be out tomorrow night on Tuesday. Be on the lookout. We will be predicting all of the cdl london games and the am scene and looking forward as well so it should be a really good episode with that said i've been talking too much roll rambo's tips on his arm. that was just almost a choke all right so my team was a bit slow to respond to on that it was a list on this point as soon as the bomb was planted and he knew i was pushing out of red he should have been going towards the bomb like here the fact that illis isn't moving is not we're not playing together right now he should be right now. Either he should be going towards the bomb. Okay. So he should be going towards the bomb. Like you see, he hasn't started moving. So he's the fact that I'm going alone and fighting the bomb guy. He's not helping me. So, so he pretty much this is where he should have been there. Like he should have been in the bomb already, and he shouldn't allow this guy to push around the ring. But at this point, we're at this point we're working together, so we're fine anyways. But just to start off with, it should have been a situation, a much easier situation, if the teammate would have reacted more accordingly. Had a middle rush. I believe I killed a guy. Yeah, I got the snipe on the kitchen guy, so we're gonna push kitchen together. I actually got three kills this round, I think. This is more like. So we, so pretty much, look, the, the fact that me and my teammate pushed together, here, I'll give you guys a third person perspective what this play looked like. Oops. Here, give it a slow mo. Like, look, he's got two targets to hit, and one of them is jumping to the side. So no matter what in this situation, there's no losing. Right now, we're up 4v3. We're gonna be up 3v2 no matter what after this play. Yeah, if I don't kill him, he, my teammate's gonna kill him. So this is where we're playing together. And so after I kill that, let's go back to first that person. Was perfect, eh? My my teammate my teammate gets a shot on A, so I react to the mini map. I see my teammate going. I get three kills, and then I'm pretty close to streak, so that's why I call. I get the bomb though. This is where this is where the situation wasn't the best. Is the fact that we don't know where the last guy is. We killed two guys kitchen and one guy at A, so we can we can kind of figure that the last guy's at B. The last guy on the map right now is at B. So it's the fact that. But simple math, you can make it this play. But the fact that my teammate right now, if you look at my teammate, look at my minimap. This is where I freak out. This is where I see one of my teammates in kitchen looking for the kill. You're looking for a situation. It's a 1v1 play on his part. We're up 3v1, but it's a 1v1 for him, and it's a 2v1 for me and my teammate. So, so he now he's starting to come back, which is the right play to make. But then again, he's looking for it. See, he's, he keeps looking around. He's, he's, he's constantly looking for the kill, constantly going around. He's looking, looking, looking. All you have to do is sit in the corner at this point. You sit in the corner. You sit in the corner. When, if you sit in the corner and you stay alive, if let's say, example, he goes to this corner. Let's just pick a corner. Oops. Uh, there you go. For example, like he could go here. He could go behind this. Anywhere where a player has to go out in the open to get the kill, me and my team are in a 2v1 where we know where he is and he has nowhere to hide. So it's a, it, we cannot lose that round because we have the bomb plan in the first place. So even at that point, me and my teammate right here, we could I was running towards this place. My teammate could have ran. My teammate could have uh, followed me into that place. Skylar right here. You could have followed me up there. You, we could we could have been both in the in the A area and we planned the bomb on this side. So he would have been in the open trying to defuse. 
There's 40 seconds left, so it's not. We haven't won this round yet. So the fact that we see Peace right now, he's running around. So at this point, we're kind of spread out. We're too spread. Even I, even I'm getting spread out a bit. See that there, he won his gunfight, but if he would have lost that gunfight, squad, then you never know what can happen. Round. All right, so this is a 1v1 situation. You just got the kill in red. We're we're pushing together. One guy walks by, guy's in the corner. That's not something. That's that's a like that's a kill you can't control. That just happens. But the fact that you were together, you traded the kill. If you weren't together, then he would have died for nothing. So you trade the kill, and it's a 1v1. This is 30 seconds on the bomb site, yeah. and you were trying to go all the way around that point. This is right here is a big mistake because the, the time you're gonna take around. It's going to be 10 seconds. There's going to be about 20 seconds left, and you're going to be here on the map. All right, but I still got to find him. And, and you still got to find him and defuse the bomb at the same time. Yeah. In Search and Destroy, the, the, the bomb really blows up at 15 seconds. If you're not, if you don't find a guy at 15 seconds, and you're not luckily next to him, he can hide and wait till 7 to peek out and kill you because he has the bomb to his advantage. Yeah. So 15 seconds is your, is your main point. After 15 seconds, and if you clutch around, that's a, that's a mistake on the other player and not a good play on your part. Mains, so, finish the mission. so we see we're here again, like these, milli, these milliseconds that you're going to waste, just yeah, these little okay. things. You're looking for the kill. Just really like you're, you're banking, you're putting your money on him being there. What if he's laundry right now? You're wasting time for nothing because you don't know. You don't have the information that you know where he is. So your only good play in this situation is to go towards the bomb site. If you're looking for him, then he has the advantage on you because he has the bomb site. So even then, he didn't have to challenge you. As soon as he saw you, I would have ran straight back. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have fought you. Okay. Like, you, 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 you hit him a bit. He lost that gunfight. He lost the round. Yeah. I would have ran straight back. You don't, I don't have to challenge you. Why would I challenge you? You, you got 15 seconds to defuse the bomb at this point. So, he did, yeah, he, he, he made a mistake. He just, it's just a clutch play. That's Call of Duty. It's just sometimes you, you don't have to always be smart. I won my gunfight against the sniper earlier. It's been two rounds that he hasn't challenged me. Just I'll check to make sure. But if I see he's not there after four seconds, I'm going to push middle. I'm going to get map control. He's giving me eyes on middle. I get free eyes on middle. We get the first kill. This is where I say group up. You were inside B at this point. This is a mistake. This is like, this, I mean, this play can work if you know the other team's going to be every single time and they're controlling. Pretty much, this play works if you know they're going there. But you should never, that should never be your A play. That should be your like, no, 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 you should, not even. You should just stay, just stay back. You don't even need to be there. Because he, he got the pick at that point. Yeah, but you, you don't want him to push here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If, he gets, if, he, if they're giving us middle, they can't plant the bomb. I can see the bomb from here. So pretty much what happens is the fact that you, you're blocking this side of the map is the, pretty much what I'm showing him, guys. I'm showing him laundry right now. I'm, I'm, I'm pointing out that the player on the bottom, on the right side of your screen in the middle of the ring should be at laundry right now for those who are trying to follow what I'm saying. And it comes to the point where if they give us middle and they're going B as a team and they're in ring, we can flank. We can, we can fly him from here, we can get him from here, and we can get him from there. So they're, they're just sticking themselves in there. Even if they get the plan down, we're going we're gonna to get at least one kill on the bomb planter. So that's a trade for us. So even if they have the bomb plant, they don't have map control to keep that bomb, th that bomb safe. So this is where, this is the play of the bomb down play where I was saying like, this is where like, kill the bomb, I'll check, no, you can see right here, but I'll double check to make sure that was the bomb. Oops. I'll play it again. I'll be like, okay, is that, I'm not sure. I thought I saw, but I wasn't 100% sure. Check the bomb, see the bomb. This is where four of you, four people go middle. Like four of us go middle here and there's absolutely nothing they will do unless they get some crazy win gunfights. But look, 1v1, 1v1, well, a bit of a 2v1 and I'm a 1v1. Like we're not 4v2 right now. We're not playing, we're not as a unit. We're, we're playing individually. And we're, if he come mid stair, he push right away, yeah, but Well, we, he was watching my mid stairs a bit. Like we're, we're still somewhat playing together. We're controlling the map, but we're still, we're still giving him a chance to, if they win their gunfights on the choke points. Yes, pro, pro player will do that, but yeah, no, no, you just, you just group up. You play safe. You see, now we're, we're all together, but still, this is what I was telling you yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, you saw me you, going there. You, I'm, I'm, I'm just, at this I'm, point, I thought I was okay, I'm slippingly looking at my mini map right now. I'm not even looking at your screen. I can just tell by where your arrow is pointing. I'd be like, you're not doing something. You're doing something wrong right now. Like where I'm just pointing out right here a situation. Look, look at this play, right? This play right here. We have two players doing two things that shouldn't be being done. One of them is going to give us the kill, but he's looking kitchen right now. He's in kitchen pointing out the back. If the AR player in the back challenges him and kills him at this point, we can't trade that kill. So he's playing a 1v1 play right now. Same thing with Illus. Illus is ringing. Let, let's say by, by some weird play, he's basketball right now. He's coming behind you. He kills you. We can't trade that kill because there's nobody there. We can position ourselves better and still give us a better chance, but it's still, you're still giving up a useless kill that shouldn't have even been done. Like, you're still going to end up killing, which works Good out. Job, but, squad. Like, you're, you're still giving the him the round. slight percent of the chance. Like I said earlier, it's a game of math. It's all, all it's probability. Well, you have, the, you have the bomb. You watch every choke point. And then if you weren't, once you see him, everyone watches the same point, and he's, there's no way he's going to win all of those gunfights. Sure. So, again, I snipe middle. I see nothing middle. I control middle. 
So here, here's a bit. We weren't really playing together at this point. Here, if we look at their defensive strategy, they're pretty spread out like crazy. They're playing defensive on like really defensive. Like we could have probably pushed B and planted right away in that situation. But like this player right here, their, their whole B strat is banking on this guy killing a bomb planter. That's the way they're playing it. So if we flooded, let's say we had a guy sniping pillars, looking up and maybe had a guy planting, then we, we could have won that round easy because there's no one in position. They're giving us way too much map control. So when you, how you take advantage by people giving you too much map control is by being aggressive. It doesn't sound right, but it's the fact that if you look at the map, example, it's really wide and then it goes really slim and really wide again. So the more you sit back, the more people are going to be tend to spread out. And it's the same thing on every map. Look at all the maps, meltdown, all the maps, it's all the same thing. All the choke points when you get to the middle seem to slim down to a few chokes. And if you go to a spawn or another spawn, there's like a bunch of different choke points and different buildings that allow to, to maneuver around. But it comes to the point where right now we're going to make a play on A, I guess, and we kind of make it right. But here we're like, we're, we're not really playing the bomb site. We're giving him room to defend the bomb site. This is where we should be flooding one person. So three of us right here should be pushing kitchen. We trade that kill. We win. We win some map control. So we get we we give we take something from them that they want to control. So he got the kill. We trade. So 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 now we're good. But they have two players below. They they know we're going in at this point. This is the play that they made better than us. But but it's more of a blind play. They didn't really play that to where it's because we've been going there pretty much every round. So so here we pick up the bomb. And since we have an anchor on A side, this is where we're going to decide to go A at this point. Because if we we don't have anyone to B, we, they could be here. They could be here. We have no idea because we have no one there. So we're playing the the eyes of the map that we have knowledge on. So at this point, we know there's guy B ball. This is where we should have been. This player here should have been with me at jumping out, and we should have been three of us should be putting focus on the B ball guy, because this is the only player we know where it's at. We're playing. We're we're not gambling money by pushing here or here or here. We know this guy's here. We're gonna go for this guy. So I jump across and bait him. You get a good shot on him at this point. At this point, we have the advantage. We just killed, and that's another a big bonus, is killing someone near a bomb site. Because when you kill someone near a bomb site, most of the time, normally, there's only one player that's going to be keeping an eye on it. The other player's going to be watching the other choke points. In this case, this player was watching here, and the other player was watching there. So, but then again, this right here, that was bad. You won, someone won their gunfight, but you're still, you're like, alone. you're alone. You're, you're, it's you're a 1v1 fight. One, yeah. Like, like Sai right here, like, he, he, won, he won his gunfight middle. Which ended up being good because he won his gunfight. But still, at this point, he should have been with us down low. Like, we're going to look at the minimap while he makes the player. He goes middle. And he was a gunfight. But still, that's that's yeah. that was territory that you had no idea on. Yeah. You did not know what was going on there. Yeah, it could have been five. Well, not five guys. But obviously. it was still a nice shot. But not. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Frost on, on the shot. Yeah, I get you. But it's, I got it's you. still I'm a play. You're, you're flipping a coin. Nobody could have traded that one. For no, exactly. If you missed that, it was a 2v2 at that point. Yeah, I got it, though. So, so now I get, so since, again, since you're, since you're seeing middle again, at this point, we can't, we can't trade the kill. If you were down low and like in a spot where I jumped out earlier and we're sitting in the corner, we were talking about that pair just got a snipe. So at this point, this player could have challenged. And while we went for a bomb site, it could have been a, a more easy play here. There was not really, I mean, even if it was closer, I was still would have died on bomb site unless the player that's back, uh, that's back uh, Tiki could have killed him before I got shot. Yeah. But that's just that's, that was just timing. That's just Call of yeah, Duty. Things like that's not really something we could have controlled. But that now we know where he is. This is where we're going to play against each other. The mistake here is the fact that you from middle not being in a good spot to start off with, but could have made a better play out of it is by getting into more close range gunfights. Yeah, exactly. He just killed someone with a sniper. We're about to challenge a player with a sniper at range, which is not good. I mean, so so Illus had an AR, which is yeah, the good yeah, part yeah. here. So he he can challenge and get the kill. Which ended up being good, but it was a, it was a trade situation. He knew where he was. He went for his gunfight because he knows he has an idea of where the player is, which is a, which is an intelligent play to start with. So here's the play now. We're we ha we know there's a pants like here's a play that we're not making. This is where I was bugging you to come back. Like I'm telling our player at, at B right now. I'm telling our player at B bomb to come straight back because he has no reason to be at B bomb right now. He should be like really close to us. And again, we're we're somewhat close to each other, but the mistake we're gonna make is we're not gonna push for a trade. I'm gonna about. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get challenged here. I'm gonna get just I'm just gonna peek. I was just peeking. Which, almost up. I'm peeking for a flight. I'm just trying to like rotate towards my teammate because I, I we we're gonna start making a play for A. Yeah. But the player's right there. Look after he gets his kill. Only one you you just sat there and didn't move. If that's me, that's me. No, oh, no, no, that was you were you were jungle. Yeah, yeah, you were, yeah, yeah, okay, no, I'm right, saying, but he's right, he didn't move. This up. is where like you're challenged, you're about to challenge one v one again. Yeah. Like you know where he is, but still it could have been a two v one at that point. So you hit him a, he hit him a bit at this point. You're gonna try and work together, which is what you should be doing. But again, you're really splitting up. 
You're, you're splitting up. At this point, it's not that bad of a split up, yeah, but he needs to go. You need to be go money right away to help him out. Yeah, I'm just saying that the it was a slight risk that you kind of had to take to go money. In, in my play, I would have went B-ball. I would have went kitchen. Like whoever went here on the, on the map, like yeah, here, I'll back instead up. Instead of joining me mid stage, like, should have went kitchen. I, I think this play right here should have been B-ball or one of you should have been B-ball. Someone goes window, peeks, looks. At this point, you're to bait. If a player, let's say, is bombside looking at you or this player here challenging you, player B-ball comes around and gets the kill. So that's the way I would start a play. But at this point, you're still like you're still kind of finding one. If you want to look, you're trying to running around a bit. You're not even close to each other right now. Like you're finding like you got you got lucky timing on the open stairs guy. Like that's the only reason. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was just lucky. It was more of a lucky timing. You took a really weird route right towards the bomb side. They were not expecting that. Uh, here they just give us B. That's what I was saying earlier. Like earlier they were playing really defensive. They did the same thing, and we just went for, straight for a plant. We didn't really play right because this is where I made a mistake on this point. I told you to come middle with me. But that was a mistake because they weren't challenging, challenging us to B. So this this is the tell. This is the tell of the story. This is where they, they, they tell you what they're doing. If they give you a B bomb plant, it means that there's who's going to be a B if there's no one checking B. So this is where I told you to go middle. I should have been with you guys right now. I should have been running back. This is where I, my brain didn't. I was working like teammate come to me instead of I coming to you. So instead of, instead of telling you to stay out there or I should have been coming out there, I tell you to come middle. And I have a submachine in here. I'm not, the only thing I'm going to be able to watch is this right here. So if you had an AR, it could have been a decent play, but still, yeah, we're, we brought the fight to them when so they have to bring the fight to us, which is the mistake. Yeah, I, I made a mistake. I, I made a bad play call in that situation. That's that was not right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That we had three choke points to watch at that point, which is not like we had no vision on that. So this is a four on two situation. This is not a, this is not a round you're supposed to win. So if you see a person's giving you a 1v1 gunfight, you have to chase it. You have to go for that kill. So we're going we're gonna to look at it. You're going to see him here. Yeah. And you're gonna give up on the fight. You see him, and you give up on the fight. Try and be a little bit slower on the trigger. Like he didn't see you there. He ran straight by you. You just shot like you gotta be. You gotta be more careful about the shots yeah, you take. Yeah. Like you do that a lot too. Like I see a lot of players do that. It's not even something that's a, that's a big problem in the community. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like that, I, it's too late. I shouldn't have taken no, the shot. Yeah. Didn't see I mean, it, he could have ran straight towards you. You never know. But yeah, yeah, like yeah. he ran really ran straight by, yeah. which is it was I, too fast. To yeah, I know. Yeah. Try to pick no, I understand. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, a lot of people have done the same thing. I'm not even saying that was. Yeah. But at this point, you ran away from him. Yeah. So this is a four on two. Even if he knows where you are, that's a trade you have to take. That's a kill you have to take because it's a four on two. You can't allow yourself to trade kills here. This is not a play where you're going to be able to play as a teammate, as a team. This is an individual situation. It's a 2v4 and we have the bomb planted. So in no way we have any map control right now. They have to, they have, they should be teaming, like, do you see they're separating? They're playing it wrong. They're playing like morons. So the fact that they separated, like, you could have, you should have chased that kill. So he gets killed and then he trades. So, hey, we're going to, I'm just going to follow you straight up because there's no use to look at the minimap. I'll, I'll tell you exactly how I would, I would have played this play right here. So... You know one guy ran bottom behind you at this point. You know where this guy is, and you know your teammate's in the middle. So your teammate gets a kill, and you see on the minimap, B-Bomb guy is shooting. So this is where you should have reacted right away. You're a bit, this, is, this is something you guys have to work on, is your minimap awareness. So you know that player's behind you, and right now it's a, 2B, it's a 2v3. Now it's a 1v3, you kill a bomb guy. Here you make a good play. This is a good decision. You hide. Because you, if you sat in the open, you obviously would have died. So you hide, but here you, you get shot by this guy. So this is the play left. where... You're running around too far, in my opinion. The, if I was the other player right now, I would already been defusing. Because I, I, I know you're in red, and now my teammate's shooting at you. So, so you have two, you have two in, in my mind, in, in my, the way I would recognize the play if I'm this player right here, you have two decisions. Or wait, which player shot you? So here. Even this player is here, so they're actually like going for the kill. So this is a bit different situation. But one of the players should have went straight for the bomb site, Especially with this guy seeing, like, he should have been either going into red, like they, they made a bad play One so left. that's the reason why you got away with that because he wasn't actually checking where you went like he doesn't know he's just looking top red so the only way that you're that you, he's going to kill you is by you going top red which you don't do so th in this situation the player goes for defuse which is uh, it's an okay play but he's slow to get there and he's look he's not even he's not even going straight for the defuse so they're still banking on the kill so at this point you went you, you made the right play of going middle at that point considering the situation but this is where I was telling but you. If he would have go instantly, he should have went in red. He should, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Your yeah, bomb would already be bomb would already be diffused. And that's what so you were expecting. Man. This is the this is the beginning mistake of the round right here. Is where instead of going into the into the square, like I should have went into like the square. Look, step. look. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I get it. Here, you're protected from your back. He's got a, the other player has to look for you, while you're gonna literally jump out at him, 
and just get a, you're gonna get the greatest timing in the world because he's gonna come pillars right behind you and you get away from him. You just got the greatest timing in the world by doing that. But let's say if I was that player and I like here, we're gonna go on his screen. All right, this guy, look though. So he sees red, he sees you're not in red. So if I'm him right now, I'm going here. So the, the hardest shot to make for him from here is the middle right there, under the stairs, because that's not all your body showing. If, if I'm here and you're coming here, look, I got, you're not going to kill my bomb player. You're not going to kill him. You got to jump through to kill him from the angle you're trying to take. So he just runs through and sees you, and then you just run around. That was just, that was the best, that was the luck. That's why I was saying you got really lucky. It was just, it was really a lucky round. And then you get the bomb, and then he's screwed. That's just, they didn't really play it right. There were so many plays that they could have made to make it better, but... In a 2v1 like that, if you're looking for a guy and you know somewhat where he is, like some, you, you both, both your teammates should be going towards the bomb. Uh, like example, right here, you kill the guy. So if I'm them, I'm looking for the kill. They, there's how much time on the bomb? So there's 20 seconds left on the bomb. They don't need that much time anymore. So they look for it. I would look for it for three seconds. If I'm looking at what a rush in the red, he just saw you going to red. So he's like top red. Here he's going to wait one, two, three. He waits about two and a half seconds there. That seems like nothing, but look at the timer, 16 seconds. So the basis of a play that you want to make when it's a 2v1, when the bomb's planted, is the fact that you want to play the bomb to your, to your advantage. So, um, so pretty much you have to go to the bomb because that's your objective, you planned it. So you're running away from them, they should be both be at the bomb site. And like I said, someone should be defusing, the other one should be baiting. So let's say, let's say they like, I'll just give you a perfect, to finish this off, I'll give you a perfect example. I didn't around. Let's say this happens, but 10 seconds earlier, they win the round. Because yeah. they can either trace the kill and defuse it. But the fact that they waited so late to go to the objective is the fact that they gave you a chance to get a, to win the round at that point. Because you couldn't, like, you... So basically, I got, like... You, yeah, yeah, I mean... I timing, timing. Yeah, it was just, it was really, like, just timing, like I said. All the probability in the mat that comes from that round starts from the bomb site. Because everything, everything that someone's going to do is around that bomb site. You can't just run away on the map and be like, sit in the back. Sir. You have to play the bomb site. You have to play the objective. So everything, every probability that comes out is going to be at that bomb site. So like the further away you are from the bomb site, the less of a chance that you have that knowing what someone else is going to do. Because I don't know what you're going to do if you're all the way on that side of the map. I, if you're near the bomb, I know you're going to be watching it or you're going to be defusing it. So man, those are the tips. I hope you guys realized why I wanted to show this because there were so many good things. You know, it really is crazy how much of the fundamentals of Search and Destroy have stayed the same for you know seven eight years now since rambo originally gave that talk or whatever and really the more you play search and destroy the more you realize that those fundamentals are so so true and uh, why it was just so valuable of a video so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i didn't do too much work this video i mean rambo really made it all happen so again go check out the full video down in the description go follow him on twitter as well and we'll be back with the best of three podcast tomorrow talking about cdl london predicting the event and the am scene as well so as always guys i'm most of and we'll see you next time i'm out